Hello, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. This week is going to be slightly different because this is going to be a build off between Bob Willis and myself. So, story goes Tony Hughes, one of our subscribers, sent us each an XK120. I don't know what Bob's looks like or what started off like or anything. And he doesn't know what mine is. So, that being said, he's, he's asked us to do it and we, we agreed, so we're going to do it. Um, and we'll have to wait and see what it comes out like. So, I'd just like to say thank you very much for all my new subscribers. Thank you for your support. And thanks to all my old subscribers for their continued support. This is the larger Corgi. This is the uh, 124 stroke 125 scale. So, let's get it off the magic roundabout and have a closer look at it. Okay, look then. SK120, <coughs> excuse me. Gorgi. They are plastic base. Made in, made in Great Britain, this one. Solid wheels. Right, with this one, it's going to have a colour change inside and out. Uh, we're going to get rid of that rack at the back. Not sure about the tourner hay, whether they get rid of that or not. Uh, this one has... Uh, where's my thing? Has the opening bonnet with a bit of engine detail in there. These two holes here. There was a strap going across there, because this is the racing version. Uh, boot opens on there. Got the back bumpers. Got the front bumpers. Uh, a lot of the silver's coming off around here, so it's all got to be redone. Around the headlight areas. So we'll de-chrome all this lot. Take the stickers out and, and strip it. I'm not 100% sure what colour I'm doing it yet. You'll have to wait and see. Rivets underneath. We've got the standard rivet at the front there, or post. Rolled post there. I imagine that holds the interior. And they've got these two splayed posts at the back here. So we'll get set up and we'll get these off. Okay. Drill down now, so let's have a look see what we've got. Took some getting out, I'll tell you. A bit tight. Right, plastic base. Front wheels, so I'll just click in there. Back wheels. They seem to have come out, but they'll go in there. Let's have a look. Back bumpers. They just seem to slide down the back there. That's them. Front bumper. Just pulls out. Right, what have we got? Engine compartment and interior, but looks like it. it's part of it anyway. That's the steering wheel caught on there. Alright, all right, leave that for a minute. That's the boot liner. Hello. That's a strange one. We're going to get that out. Don't know we're going to get that out. Let's look. Let's investigate that further. Right, these are little plastic lugs. Easy. Yeah. 
get them out. We'll be gluing these back in anyway, so don't worry too much about that. Yeah. Let's have a look at the back here. Getting that out would be a pain, isn't it? Take the top off those. Oh, little bugger. Doesn't want to let go, does it? Oh, that is one underneath here. Got that off. We don't want that on. Got that off. We don't want that on. And that should come out now at the bottom. It's all catching. That's doing well. Push that out and got rid of that. That's the engine. Push that out. So take that off. That's it. Engine dashboard and what have you. Steering wheel off. Should have done it in the first place, shouldn't I really? There's a few bits and bobs on there. That's the engine. Right, what else have we got? We've got this bit here. There we go, push that out. And hold, that's it. That's gone. Windscreen's glued in. By the look of it, you can just see where it's been. Glued in there. It can be a bit of a pain to get this out, I bet. I don't want to break it. One out. Just cut down the glue either side. And that should. 
pop out. There you go. That's out. And that'll go back in again. So that's out. It's just a bonnet and the and this, so I'm not sure whether that will lift out there. It's definitely it might just leave that in. Leave the bonnet on it. Oh, now let's have a look. I don't think it's going to come off very easily. There's these two you can undo, I suppose. They look a bit tight. I think we're going to leave them in. I think they'll leave that bonnet and that in. It's more trouble than it's worth trying to get it off. I think I can paint that. They're fairly stiff, so I should be able to paint that. What I need to do now is get this off. Get this out of here. Get the grill off. That's the grill off. Lights. Get the lights out. See if we can poke them through here. <sighs> One minute on it. Yeah, come in. There's, they're coming. They're coming. One. Just gently ease them up. Oh, they're breaking it. Two. Right. Okay. All stripped. We'll get rid of that number plate. Don't want that on it. We'll get rid of that. We don't want that. We don't want that. That. 
I'm not going so easy. Oh, well, this is not coming off very well, this one. Doesn't really matter. I can take it. It will come off in the Cossack soda, but... Yeah, sorry. I'm getting the Cossack soda. I'll scratch it and do more damage. Right, so that's it. <coughs> that's it. Just have another little look at that. Yeah, I'm gonna leave them in. Right. So that's for the stripper. Well, it's the only metal part, I think, isn't it? Part from there. Yeah. The rest is all plastic. Plastic. So that one's cleaning up. That one's cleaning up. That I want cleaning up. Let's have a look a minute. I want to check on something here. Check on something there. Okay. All right, that's cleaning up. We'll clean that, even though we're not may not going to use it. This one and these parts, and this one get this out actually. This will be the one. I'm not sure. Wait a second. I'm just having a look, see if that comes out easy enough or not. I don't quite know how that's fixed in there. So it's glued in or a separate piece, I don't know. Can't really tell. And we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. That's going in the oven cleaner, oven cleaner, oven cleaner, oven cleaner, oven cleaner, oven cleaner. That can't go in the oven cleaner. Steering wheel. Put a bit of super glue on it. That can go down and get washed. Okay. Stripping time in. Oh, good out then. Caustic soda time on the uh, on the SK120. Just for a second for the kettle to boil. Put the fan on. We're ready to go. Any minute now. There we go. See where this comes off like. See what this comes off like. In goes the water. All right, here comes the caustic. See what that's doing, don't seem to be doing a lot. I don't think this is doing a lot. I've got some new caustic soda, 
same as before, but it's original. So we'll just give that a little while and see what happens. It's bubbling away there, so something's working. This is an older cork, a newer corgi, so I don't know what the paint's like on it. But we'll have to wait and see, won't we? We'll have to wait and see. Yeah, it's, it's still fermenting. Right, okay. We'll come back in a bit and see what's happened. Okay. Got the primer on the jag. One or two bits I've got to fill in. There and there. And there's some markings on the side here, so there's, I don't know if you can see that there. Well, I'm going to focus. You can just about see it. Look. Let's see if it focus. Come on. There, look. Got to fill them. And the same the other side yeah so i'm going to use some filler or putty i've got some got some of the tamia gray and i'll use some of the some of this liquid that thins it down that, that, that's good for thinning this is good for thinning this down so i'll get on and do that and i'll get back to when it's on well that's a filler on <coughs> excuse me yeah, I had to be. I did it off camera because it had to be really quick. Because this, in this heat, this weather, the, the, start again. In this heat, it goes off really quickly. Not enough to sand it and what have you, but it goes enough so you can't manipulate it. It goes all crumbly. So that's in. So I wait now. I wait with this stuff. I usually wait quite a few hours, get it really solid, and then. Give it a light sanding over, and then we should be done. Yeah, and we're ready then for the uh, top coat. Because I'm having a change of top coat, I'm changing the interior colour as well. And that's over there now in primer. So I'll let you know what the colours are going to be when I've sanded this down and we're going to do the top coat. Okay. All right. Put that over there for now. Right, that's a primer all done on the 120. So now we're going to give it some. We're going to give it some paint, and what we're going to use is this one. It's high coat again. You can read that. Oh, let's get it right. Yeah, Nissan Intense Blue Pearl. There you go. Just to brighten up a little bit. So I'm going to whack some paint on that. And I'll be back. Okay, out then. A situation report. Sit rep on the old jag. Right, this is the colour. There you go. There you go. Have a look at that. I change the colour, and it's uh, a Nissan colour here. Oh, Sean's in the way. Nissan Intense Blue Pearl. That's what we've used for this. Okay. Uh, interior, I've gone with like a, a tan interior to go with that. And I think it suits it. And you drop that in there. I think that looks pretty funky, like that, yeah. Uh, I've got to do some engine details. I've gloss blacked it. I'm going to do some engine details on there. Uh, well, that's it really, up to now. So we're not far off putting it back together again. Once I've done these details, should we be ready to put it back together again. Yeah, it's a nice colour. That is. I don't want to muck about it too much. Pop that out there. Yeah. It's a nice colour. It's better in the light outside. So that's where we are. So, next stage will be engine details. I'll get the paints ready and the brushes and we'll have a look, yeah? Catch you a second. 
Rightio then. Got me uh, paints using the metal colours from Vallejo. Got my brushes. I'll need me uh, magnifiers on me on my head. There we go. There we got it. Right, okay. Let's make a start. Let's do the uh, do like the manifolds first. Pick our weapon of choice. Put it in the mouth. Get the end of the brush. So that's these down here. We'll get these done first. Hopefully you can see, and I'll try and get my fingers out of the way. Give it some detail. Da -ba -da. Yeah, these are nice, these Vallejo metal paints. You can airbrush them, or you can hand brush them. I had these when I was doing the scale modern for jet aircraft, you know, doing around the jet engines and stuff. So they're good enough for this. They're smooth. They're smooth. Bear with me while I do this. You can appreciate why I don't show you all this on here because it will take a long time. And I know as much as you like restorations and stuff like this, it still gets boring. There you go. So if you look under the bonnet, You'll we'll see that from there. See, all my big jags I've had are all been straight sixes. I just, uh, I don't know if I've told you, but I just recently, when I retired, I sold my Island S type. Lovely car. Lovely car, really, really nice. Right, I'm just going to do in between here, in the duller colour, in between there, because it would be dark in there, in here, on the head. Yeah, the S-type, um, nice. I say to myself, that's the last of the proper Jaguars, I would say. In my opinion, anyway. I mean, you look at the new ones now, they look the same as anything else. I mean, look at that F-Pace. Not as car, but, you know. Since when a Jag was built 4 by 4 And I'm old enough and lucky enough to have been around and the Mark 10 with the 420Gs, huge great things, were on the road. And the old Daimlers, double sixes. Yeah, nice. Very nice. I think my favourite, I would say, one that I haven't had yet, is a, an XJS. Really nice car. I've had quite a few sick XJ6s.
Well, that'll do for that. That's quite a good look. Come out nice. Let's just do, uh, what was that bit there? I'm trying to think what they were then. They look like, yeah, I don't know. Right, let's get the aluminium on the rocker rocker covers. What are we on? Five minutes. We're on five minutes. We're on for a minute or two. A little dabble, do ya? This is thin. Careful with this. Talk amongst yourselves for a minute. I went to a car show once and embarrassed myself. There was a line of these XK120s. And one of them had its red one had its bonnet up. And I tell you. I was looking in the engine, or I was really engrossing this engine. And I lifted my head up, and because the radiator grill comes right down to a point, I smacked my flipping head on it. I felt a right why. It didn't hurt and all. Well, that's one. Right, we're on seven minutes. I'm going to knock this on the head and then I'll show you when it's all done. Okay, there you go. That'll do. That'll do, yeah. So, that's ready to go back in now. We are getting to the assembly stage. So next time you'll see this lot, it will be ready to assemble. Okay? Assembly time. See, just move it out of the way a little bit. Assembly time. Here we go. Uh, not quite know where to start now. I think we'll start with the interior. Uh, that's it, not way around. Drop that in. That's that. We'll poke the bonnet up. We'll put the dash and everything in. I think that goes in. Like so, I think. Yeah, like so. Just checking that, make sure that's not sitting up too proud. Yeah, that'll do. Put that in there. The boot. Yeah, I'll say it goes this way around. Uh, 
that way around. Front bumper. I think that just that slots in. That slots in there. The back overriders. They're going. That way or that way, I can't remember now. No, it's not that way. In there. That's it. Send down. Sorry, you got that shot there. Sorry. Right. In there. Better put some wheels on, don't we? Not sure where they just click in. Yeah, that's clicked in. That's clicked in. Okay. So far, so good. I just pop them in on there. Pop in the steering wheel. I'm going to pop that out now, aren't I? Like a dick. <sighs> Should have glued them in. That's got it. And the windscreen. So there you have it. What am I going to do? I think I'll have to glue that in. Because this axle keeps popping out. White one, chaps. Yeah. This axle keeps popping out. I'll drop put a drop of glue on that. I might as well do the front while I'm at it as well. All right. All right, there you go. Job done.
That ain't the easiest to get out, is it? I've done something wrong here. I think I might have done something wrong here. I don't know what that is. Why is that not coming out? Why is that not coming out? Surely should be able to lift that out of there. Right, there you go. That's it. Sorry about that. I just made a few adjustments. There you go. So we'll see it, what it looks like on the magic roundabout. And it'll be job done. Okay then, here we go. All finished. Nice new paint job. Modern paint job. Just to remind ourselves that this was donated by Tony Hughes. He sent myself and Bob Willis one and asked us if we do a build off. Bob's been ready for a while. It's my fault. I've been hanging back a little bit. Got a few other things to finish off first. But we're all done now. I don't know what Bob's done and he doesn't know what I've done. So. Here we go. XK120. A colour change, interior change, engine detail. I quite like the colour. I just thought I'd do something a little bit different. I've got rid of the tourniquet cover and a rack off the back so there we have it all done this is a bigger scale I think it's 124 something like that Just in there. that's it there you go well, hope you like it. There you go, Tony. Okay, dope then. Onwards and upwards, and on to the next build. Bye for now.